Hello, I'm Álvaro García and I'm the director of Creed. Today I want to share with you what is the current state of the game, but also the different processes and systems that are part of the project. Finally, we will have a quick look into the future and the potential scenarios for Creed. I come from the VFX and the film industry. I've been working for a decade in different movies like The Jungle Book, Ready Player One, Avengers, Matrix 4, Pirates of the Caribbean, just to mention a few. But also, I've been doing my own personal projects in parallel, including Sumer, released in 2014, and The Seat of Juna in 2020. Finally, The Seat of Juna was the bridge into Unreal Engine, and thanks to the epic mega crunch, we were able to move the project into real time, doing a dedicated Unreal Engine 4 trailer. From that moment, we were already inside the engine, the perfect excuse to start a video game. And that's the beginning of Crit. We thought immortality was the final frontier. <laughs> it's a disgrace. Time to finish this! Can't you see? For a second! that this attitude is going to get both of us killed! Just die! Oh, shit! Let's go! They took our lives first. But you know what's really scary, Chris? They took our deaths, too. So, what is Crit? In short, it's a cooperative rock light, packed with procedural levels, tactical combats, ruthless enemies, meaningful characters, and a profound story. All set in a biopunk universe, where humanity will fight against the ancestors and the right of existing in Kepler Zero. And this is a small portion of the art of this universe. The loop of Crit is focused on player progression, not on character progression. Once you die, because dying is not just part of the gameplay but also part of the story, you will return to your base camp. Not to increase your health, stamina or shields, but to unlock abilities that will fit better your playstyle. Once you finish a full run, this means at least 5 levels without dying, the story will move forward to the next act. And there are 4 acts meaning that you will be playing four rock lights into only one game. I really hate to choose the difficulty of a game even before playing the game. On Crit, you play first and you choose later. Each hexagon is a procedural level, connected with two other levels that will define your difficulty. If you go to open the west gate, things will stay balanced. However, if you go to the east gate, expect an increase on in difficulty. It is completely up to you to risk for a bigger reward. We built our levels following different rules, like simplex noises or wave function collapse algorithms. The levels are not just procedural, but also fractal. This means that not only the big landscapes are procedural, the different mazes, temples, settlements, dungeons are procedural too. There will be levels, inside levels, inside more levels. However, every single biome will be completely art-directed and connected with the story and the universe following the design that defines Creed.
We have spent a lot of time testing and improving the combat system. It is hard, it is challenging, and you will never be safe. We consider it the engine of Crete, even if we barely scratch the surface of what could become. It promotes cooperation, tactics, and a massive range of creativity in combat. This is the side effect of focusing our efforts on player progression rather than character progression. A big inspiration for this motto is chess. No matter if a chess player has 100 years or one day of experience, the queen will always move in the same way. However, you can move your queen better. Why Unreal Engine 5? It is the perfect environment to merge high-quality cinematography using technologies such as Nanite, Lumen, and Metahumans, but also has infinite solutions for the gameplay style of Crit, including game ability system, motion matching, or control rig. Finally, our animation workflow is a perfect combo between XSense Motion Capture, KineFX Houdini, and Unreal Engine. We will continue to do regular playtests, even if many systems are not yet ready to be deployed, like for example the laboratory system where you can build your own procedural weapons. However, the game is already playable, and this means that we can test it, gather feedback, and improve it already. No one can predict the future, so we have three potential scenarios depending on how much funding we can raise in the following years. The good news are, no matter what, Creed will happen. The question to answer is, how big? Thank you very much for watching. If you like it, consider to wishlist Grid on Steam. And see you then in the next playtest.